I'm going to take you to the man who has made this all happen. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome to the stage. Ram! Jerry! You know, I will never want to make any enemies with Jerry because Jerry is British. I don't want the Empire to strike back. Welcome to the dark side. Let me give you a rundown of my name. My name is uh, Ram. My full name is actually Santana Ram. It's uh, quite a long name. Uh, uh, but has anybody had the experience before where people try to correct the pronunciation of your own name? <laughs> so this is my story. I went to a place called uh, Starbucks. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and I knew everything was going to go downhill because the lady I was actually meeting, uh, she said, Hello! And I think the name of the drink was called a mocha frappuccino. She looked at me and said, Mocha frappuccino? <laughs> I said, no, no, mocha. And then finally the time comes, she asked me, uh, What's your name? Um, yeah, I said, My name is uh, Ram. Then she asked me, how do you spell it? I said, R-A-M. It's not Ram, lah. <laughs> you know, Ram, Moo. And I'm telling her, no, 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 it's Meh. And I was having this, this dialogue with her. And then she corrects me and said, no, your name should be R-U-M. So I want they like to associate Indians with alcohol. Right? <laughs> yeah, I anyway, mean, speaking about Indians, uh, uh, the best way to identify Indians is uh, probably the way we dance. <laughs> like for example, North Indians and South Indians were totally different. North Indians would dance north up, we start to move like our eyebrows. <laughs> and then we slowly progress to move our shoulders. And then we start to name things like back of the hand, front of the hand, back of the hand, front of the hand. And then we start to finger, I don't know why I did that relative to you, but we start to finger, the air. South Indians are more seductive, usually dancing with another guy, is it working like this? <laughs> Women like the way I move, only if I move away from them. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, I used to be a lead actor in a local football movie called Kalam Ram. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You guys have never watched it, right? Yeah. 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 Anyway, it happened like uh, 20 years ago. Uh, there's about 4,000 uh, views. <laughs> it's really tiring to click 3,900. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's really sad. I mean, like, uh, I'm like trying to tell people every time that Kalang Rock and the football movie, is it is one leg kicking. And no, 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 that's the other movie. Yeah. yeah, so nobody has seen that movie. Uh, but it's it's tough. Love. But I want to just share with you another thing. I think earlier we were talking about vegans, right? Uh, I'm yeah. a vegetarian. I know I'm equally shocked as you. <laughs> one lady came up to me and asked me, Really? How come you're so big? I had to tell her, Elephants are so vegetarian. <laughs> but there's, but the real reason why I, I like this is because I've got a, a, a mom who likes to feed. She likes to feed a village. I'm that village. You know, it's really tough, you know, growing up in school, the only sports you can join is Boy Scouts because your right thigh, if you're rubbing against your left thigh, it's not a fire. And then I'll come back home and I'll cry to another fat person, my dad. And then he said, you're not fat, you're just easy to see. But the real reason why my mom gets more of this motivation is because she watches Bollywood movies. Do you know in every Bollywood movie, there's actually this theme called the hero, the victim and the villain? My mom plays all three characters. Like she tries to fill a void in my life by like, like trying to feed me more. And then all of a sudden she'll like go into uh, this victim mode, you know. I put in so much of energy and effort, she'll also have a dance step. I put a lot of energy and effort and then she'll start to like cry. And then this like, like this Yoda moment will come on. He said, eat you must, cry I will. <laughs> and then she'll become like this uh, villain, saying like, no more food for you. And I didn't realize I started to inherit those characteristics. Like now I'm preparing all these jokes. And then you guys are like, no, laughing at the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for the, the support itself. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's been quite a while. I mean, uh, I've got a lot of nice great friends over here. And I've got Isha there, who I used to do modeling with. I know I used to model before. <laughs> now for all before commercials. Huh? 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's really tough itself. I mean, the, this is the, one of the challenges that you face, huh? Uh, but you know, like growing up itself, you know, you want to have like power, like not the lightsaber kind of power. You want to have the power, like what the teacher had. The teacher had this wooden ruler. <laughs> And you know, like whenever the teacher takes this wooden ruler, it will be like the sword of Excalibur or the lightsaber. I was so excited. I wanted to actually have that same power. And true enough, I actually got the same power and I wanted to become a teacher in a school. I got a posting as a teacher. And there was this, I was so excited. So I went to this art shop. I bought this wooden ruler. I went back home and I started practicing. <laughs> And I really wanted to see who's going to be the kid that's going to come late to class. And true enough, it happened to be a young Indian kid. And he was late. The real reason why Indians are late, I want to share with you. It's because it takes a long time to dry ourselves. True fact. Eh? Okay, come back to the story. So the kid comes late, and I just was about to reach for the wooden ruler. He, t he actually, I asked him this question, why are you late? He said, none of your business. Yeah, so I really, I took out the wooden ruler. I didn't realize that it was powerful. He had something even more powerful than me. He had a smartphone. <laughs> and he looked at me and said, do you want me to make you famous? And then I said, can you be Kala more famous? <laughs> yeah, so has anybody taken up the trains uh, in India at some point? Really? Nobody has taken the trains in India. I took the trains in India. Yeah, it was such an experience. I didn't realize I was faster than the trains. <laughs> but it's a very nice experience, you know, because when I was in India, uh, I was in this carriage and I didn't realize that everybody was staring at me. I thought they recognized me from the movie Kalam, bro. <laughs> wasn't the case. But I was actually stopped by a police guy, you know. The police guy actually stopped me. He stopped me and he actually told me this, like, you know, like I'm you know, in a caught in that situation. And I didn't realize that sometimes when you're caught in a situation, you have to really fake a very strong Indian accent. <laughs> and being an actor that I am, I practice. So I went to I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I you actually were in a woman's compartment. I said, really? But they all look like men. No, sorry. I, 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 I. Policeman said, shut up. And I realized that if you watch enough of Bollywood movies, you will have to look at the policeman straight in the eye and say, that that is one line. Look at the policeman and ask him this question. Do you know who's my father? <laughs> And he looked at me and asked me, why don't you ask your mother? <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I've actually done quite a bit of comedy set and I just wanted to sort of take some time to just thank all of you all that to come here. Uh, and uh, you all have a good time? Yes! And uh, keep coming, keep supporting comedy and uh, I'm going to hand this mic back to... Jerry. Thank you so much for having us on our show.